Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'm going to minister deliverance proper now in the next two, three minutes. I believe in deliverance. I do. Absolutely. I believe that people can be victims of satanic conditions and oppressions and behind many inexplicable situations are demonic occurrences. It's about to give way now. I'm going to ask you to shout that name, Jesus. You do not shout it as a ritual. It's not a journey or a, some kind of mental formula. I will ask you to shout it by the Spirit. There is an anointing upon that instruction. Remember what I taught you? At the shout of that name, Jesus, anyone who is under the influence of any kind of yoke, familiar spirits, the workings of darkness, as you shout that name just once with faith in your heart, fire will rest upon your life and through you rest upon your family. I want you to quickly bring those people out so that I'll pray for them. And then I want to pray for the sick in the name that is above all names. Father, you have called this a miracle service. There are lives and destinies under all kinds of yokes. I decree and declare for everyone under the sound of my voice, every spirit that has oppressed you, every negative condition that is demonically engineered, as you shout that name, be free once and for all. Are you ready now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be free now. Be released now. Outside, be released. All the overflows, be released. Inside, be released. The balconies, be released. Connecting online, be released in the name of Jesus. Please bring them out very quickly. By the power of the Holy Spirit, bring them out. In the name of Jesus, oppressions of wickedness, be set free right now. Yokes, causes, ancestry, orchestrations of delay, orchestrations of retrogression, be set free now for that gentleman, for that sister, that daughter of Abraham, be set free now, be set free now, be set free now, in the name of Jesus. Bring them out, I'm praying for them. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you have been kept in one location, in one place. Nothing moves in your life. Nothing grows in your life. Nothing changes in your life. Today, as you encounter this anointing, I pray for you. May God move you forward. May God move you forward in a fearful dimension. May God move you forward. Move you forward. Move your children forward. Move your family forward. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is speaking to me and is ministering to me that some of you came here so that you will be found of God. God wants to raise people in your family that becomes an access point for him. And that there are many of you he brought here and there is an anointing. This one is not deliverance. This one is an impartation. God wants to locate you by an anointing to show you that he has put upon you the mantle of a savior over your family. I don't know where you are, but in the name of Jesus, as you hear me, I decree and declare, let that oil locate you. Let that grace locate you. Ordained to be the savior of your family. Still bring them out. In the name of Jesus, I decree, receive an impartation. Receive an impartation. Receive an impartation. Receive an impartation. Some of you will be the first to bail your family financially. Some of you will be the first to introduce Jesus to your family. Some of you will be the first to help your, your loved ones to rise beyond a certain level. Anyone called into that ministry, I place grace on your life now. 
I place grace on your life now. Ah, someone is saying, Lord, here am I, send me. Send me, send me. I'm still praying for you again. You came to contact grace. You may be the, the weakest. You may be a male, a female, it doesn't matter. I pray for you one more time. An anointing from heaven. Let it land on your head right now. Let it rest on your destiny right now. I'm hearing in my spirit that rejected stone. That rejected stone. I don't know what has made you rejected. Maybe in your family, maybe in your destiny, maybe among your contemporaries. Let me prophesy upon you. That rejected stone. Let an anointing rest upon you now. Rest upon you now. Rest upon you now for an extraordinary destiny. Let it rest upon you now. Open your mouth and shout, say, Father. Say it again, say, Father. In the name of Jesus, I take my place in life and destiny. Open your mouth and pray. I take my place, the place ordained for me, the place commissioned for me. Lo, I come in the volume of the book. I may be ordinary, but there is an ordination upon my life. I may be ordinary, but there is a grace on my destiny. And in this season, I decree and declare that I walk in the reality of my call. I walk in the reality of my assignment. The reality of my call. The reality of my assignment. In the name of Jesus, for all those in front here, I decree and declare every oppression of darkness over your life. I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant, it gives way now. It gives way now. Every legal access Satan has over your life, I declare that access broken now. In the name of Jesus, return to your seat rejoicing. I'm hearing the cry of babies, children. I'm hearing the cry of babies like, you know, like a baby crying. And when God ministers like this, I know that someone is about to receive the miracle of the fruit of the womb. I don't know who is trusting God, whether for yourself or for your loved one. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. According to the time of life, return with your miracle children. Return with twins and triplets in the name of Jesus Christ. Where you have tried and tried and tried and tried and it's not seemed to work. I release an anointing upon you and I decree and declare that this time around it will be your testimony. This time around it will be your testimony. This time around it will be your testimony. I'm seeing a family build an estate but they've been stagnated for a while. Like building a, 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 some unit of houses. This is what I'm seeing. But they've been stagnated for a while. Like something just happened. Peg the resources. And they're not able to continue. Let me use that as a point of contact to pray for everyone here. When God starts a thing, he finishes. But you see, every time you see stagnancy, where there was once motion, it means that Satan has hijacked that process. For you, it may not be a house you are building. It may be a destiny you are building. It may be your business you are building. It may even be your spiritual life you are building. That you started on a journey successfully so. And for some reason, Satan hijacked it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for someone who is willing to receive. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, what you have started, may it finish in your lifetime. May it be finished in your lifetime. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now hear me. I want to take a few minutes and pray a very special prayer for your finances. If you don't believe that prayers can be offered over someone's finances and God will change the person's story, then you are not a Christian. 
Are we together? By the message of God and with every sense of humility, I know a bit about finances. I understand the laws of wealth, but I know that there is a grace from God that can bail a man out. Do you know, when I was praying, I had to take the time to browse the major needs of Africans. I just took out time. I wanted to know, not just by word of knowledge, because ministers of the gospel are solution providers. Are we together? And do you know, let me tell you the truth, I got to find out, and many of you will honestly admit here, that as it is right now, many believers love Jesus already. So it's not an issue of not being serious spiritually. The major issue with people right now, right now, I was having a haircut and I was discussing with the person who was barbing my hair and I was just joking. I said, tell me how much a bag of rice is now. And he said, it's I think 95,000 or something like that. Or, or 100 or something. And I was just joking. I said, well, I'm sure that who knows by December now, just in the next one or two months, you will be surprised that it will be 100 and something even, you know, as it always does. There are many people who are stranded financially. Children are being driven back home by responsible parents just because they are incapacitated. They've gotten to a point where their salaries cannot do so much. That is the truth. Many people are gainfully employed. Gone are the days where these lazy people who are crying for lack of money. Right now, people who have been working perhaps in the civil service, uh, doing the very best that they know to do. Let me tell you the truth. If you think the church cannot profess solution to financial problems, then you have limited the God of the Bible. When God steps in, he is able to supply all our needs. In order of spiritual priority, your spiritual needs. But the God who can only solve your spiritual problems cannot be called the Lord of all. The one who you call Lord of all is the one who is vast and powerful enough to attend to all and any matter of concern. Are we together? So I'm just telling you that when we get to the place where I'm speaking over your finances, please don't keep quiet. I submit to you by the grace of God, this house is like Goshen contrasting to Egypt. That while there was darkness in Egypt, there was light in Goshen. And if God has shown us mercy, you should not be a part of this vision and then be looking left and right, wondering where bread comes from. We have found a fountain in the spirit where waters flow without end. It is by the riverside. We don't wait for rainy or dry season. We have found help. It's an oasis that flows from the rock and it will never, never go dry. Never. Never. Never go dry. Are we together? You can only give what you have. Oh. If you don't have it, you cannot give it. By the grace of God, God has shown us mercy even in the area of finances. This is why the temptation to manipulate is a temptation that dies on arrival. It is unnecessary and it is foolish. Do you know why? Because when God helps you and gives you capacity in an area, he has also empowered you to resist the tendency for temptation in that area. When someone is eating and is full, you can't tempt the person with food. It won't work. There are many, many believers who love Jesus. Some of you right now, you are neck deep into all kinds of debt. Personal debt, corporate debt. There are churches, men and women of God who love the Lord. And the churches are about to close because they are not able to pay the bills. I know a God who is merciful and kind, faithful and gracious. I'm the apple of his eyes, the thought that fills his heart every morning, noon, and night. Hold on. Press the name of the Lord. Hold on. The Lord is showing me something that I saw many years ago, and I'm seeing it again. He's reminding me of a vision that he showed me where I was holding bread and the bread had honey. As I just raised this song, this is what I saw. You see, I, I've shared that vision here and people were not seeing the machine. 
there was a machine that I was the only one who was seeing it and it was producing bread and in case of butter it was putting honey in the middle you could press it and honey was coming out and there were multitudes joining the queue and all I was doing was to serve the bread and honey and then people would take it and call their neighbors and friends they would join the queue again and the shocking thing in that vision was that it never got exhausted it didn't matter how many times they were joining the queue you see there is a dimension of our call and assignment that attends to the welfare of God's people it's a grace it's not a desire it's a grace it's a grace I will worship him forever, love him forever, because this God is too good. I will worship him forever, love him forever, because this God is too good. Hallelujah. I want to pray for the sick right now i will pray for the sick and we'll come back to this finance thing please open up your heart to receive something on your head this night for your finances if you don't believe it no problem you can do whatever you know to do but allow those who believe it to receive are we together now don't interrupt another person's believing we believe all kinds of things about finances and everyone we live in a world where God gives you the liberty to believe what you want to believe and receive of the fruit of your understanding. Hallelujah. Lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. Now please, this is the prophetic instruction. I want you to listen carefully. I'm going to rebuke sickness now. Please, if you came sick, this is your moment. Remember, you prayed for an opportunity to discern. I'm going to minister to you by the spirit of grace and the moment I minister to you I want you to check yourself if you need to use the medical stand I want you to run there and confirm it for instance if it's high blood pressure you can go to the medical stand and confirm or you can go to the convenience and confirm depending on what your situation is but I'm going to pray quickly and then I noticed for a month or two we've not had the time to take testimonies we'll take a few testimonies right now it's important that we give an opportunity for people to testify and uh, we'll work with the time we have we have to take testimony so please listen as the power of God touches you some of you as you came under the anointing upon returning back to your seat you found out that the pain the discomfort everything is gone the moment I pray for you and I ask you to come if you are in the overflow outside make your way very quickly just tell the ushers and the protocol that I am coming to testify they will test you and allow you to come and um, you'll be allowed to stay at my left or my right and there'll be a few people who will just confirm you and will take a few testimonies for those who are following online I'm going to pray and release miracles right now particularly healing miracles the moment that happens we have our helplines the PR lines I want to send in your testimony will take one or two to celebrate the good hand of God now if you came here listen carefully if you came here with a walking aid a crutch perhaps a wheelchair some kind of aid and you know that you have a bone condition I'm going to start with you whether you are outside any of the overflows when I pray for you I like you to believe that you receive strength and I want you to do what you could not do before and once we have a miracle confirmed for you and for any other person there are others who were brought maybe on stretchers others could not work others you are not able to see others you are not able to hear others you're having blood conditions palpitations you know all kinds of things release your faith now to receive place your hand where you are trusting God for a miracle and speak to the Lord in one minute and I release that grace upon you you can stand in for your loved one they may not be here physically but I like you to believe for a miracle for them and as we always do there are hospitals there are clinics there are medical places that are people now are right now following uh, life and they're about to receive miracles for their loved ones I want you to encourage your loved ones to release their faith and the moment we pray we'll be glad to hear your testimonies I see people laying hands on photos believe God for a miracle the Bible says he that cometh to God must come believing that he exists I am a living testament of the healing power of Jesus 
I know he heals. I know he heals. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Place your hand. I want to pray for you now. Blessed be the Lord God Almighty Who was and is and is to come Blessed be the Lord God Almighty Who reigns forever In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I take authority over every spirit of infirmity. Every spirit of infirmity every spirit of infirmity blood conditions spirits responsible for palpitations bone conditions deteriorations of organs i take authority over you by the blood of the eternal covenant and i decree and declare that you leave god's people now i declare that you leave god's people now by the power of the holy ghost let the anointing of the Holy Spirit surge through your being right now. Surge through your body right now. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I declare over everyone here sick in body be healed now. Shout a believing amen be healed now. Lumps and all kinds of satanic growths in your body. I command it to dissolve and to disappear now. mobility problems you are not able to walk you are not able to stand you're having bone problems neck problems in the name of Jesus be healed now you have any kind of eye condition you are not able to see or see clearly I declare over your eyes let the power of God touch your eyes now I speak to anyone who is here deaf be healed in the name of Jesus let the deafness be unstopped right now in Jesus' name. Anyone who is suffering from any blood condition, blood condition, the issue of blood or any kind of blood condition, be healed in the name of Jesus. I was so touched by the testimony that was shared here. I think it was, um, was it online or on site? The person who had, you know, from, would throw up anything that they, they ate and drank. I decree and declare any digestive problem that you have, you're suffering from, be healed right now in Jesus' name. There's someone you have a circulation problem. It's like something that has to do with excess fat in your body. Blood is not able to flow and circulate well. The Lord is healing you right now in Jesus' name. You have a neck problem. I don't know if you came with a bracelet or whatever aid, but I decree and declare that neck is healed right now. Shoulder pain be healed right now. Knee pain be healed right now. In the name of Jesus. Kidney problems. You have any kidney problem. I declare that that kidney stone or whatever it is, it is flushed out of your body now. Flushed out of your body now. You have a respiratory problem. There's someone you have a serious respiratory problem. It makes you to snore. You snore very seriously. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. There is a woman, I'm saying that you have something like a growth and that growth is stopping you from taking in. This is what I'm saying. You have a growth and the growth is stopping you from taking in. I don't know who that person is, but in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that that growth shrinks and leaves your body. And you will feel it within your body that a miracle has happened. In the name of Jesus. There's someone you've been having a very severe, I don't know what your problem you're having with your tongue. Your tongue. Very severe. Is it pain? Is it irritation or discomfort? Very severe irritation. I declare to you, be healed right now in Jesus' name. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. 
be healed right now in Jesus name cancers of any and all sorts whatever stage it is be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus anyone having a speech problem for you or your child be healed now in the name of Jesus anyone believing God for an autistic child we release the power of God and we declare healing right now in Jesus name every mental health challenge anyone who was brought here mad or brought here with any kind of psychosomatic condition I decree and declare be healed right now in the name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not I want you to be healed receive your miracle in the name of Jesus I want to lay hands on one person I'm going to ask you to check yourself but the Lord is mentioning someone's case for me and I am the Lord is asking me to minister to you this started from a dream listen carefully please don't be careless to come out just because I said I would lay hands it started from a dream it's like you were fed with something in a dream and from that time you woke up you don't know the name of what is wrong with you but you are losing weight you are losing weight it's like a demonic thing I want to pray for that person very quickly you woke up from a dream and from the time you woke up from that dream you've not been able to diagnose exactly what is wrong with you but you are emaciating you are losing weight I want to know that person I want to pray for you it's a demonic thing hallelujah we are still praying for the sick are we receiving in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone it's not I don't know it's your chest I'm not sure it's directly your breast but around your chest area there's been something a very a, like a mast something not directly on your breast but I'll, I'll, maybe the upper part of your chest like a mast forming in the name of Jesus I want to pray for you that demonic satanic thing gives way right now shout a believing amen it gives way right now it gives way right now it gives way right now a demonic thing who brought this woman Who brought her? Come and tell us what is wrong with her. If she's not able to stand, give her a seat. I want to know what is wrong with her. Who brought her? She's your mom? No, she's my husband's brother's. My your husband's what? Come again? My husband's father's elder sister. Okay. What happened to her? This is happening. 2021 after my husband passed your husband passed yes sir so in a dream i saw that i was injected since then i've been losing a serious weight i was 125 before i keep dropping 70 something so it's a long story but i came purposely because i'm a member of this ministry online 24 hours i watch this program I said I have to come here today. I flew last week to Abuja. And so you're incapacitated? Look at this kind yes, of demonic sir. thing. That Are you my leg, this? I had a stroke, mini stroke in May, the 10th of May in Orlando, Florida. Since then, I've been going from hospital to a hotel. Hospital, I went to, I was supposed to come to Virginia. I mean, I was supposed to come to Madam, Dallas. Hold on. The power of God is coming on you, this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, this one you're holding, I decree and declare. I just saw like oil dropping on your head. I decree and declare whatever demonic thing lives now. I bring you life, bring you healing by the Spirit of God. Now watch this. We're going to do this very, very quickly. My God, such miracles are happening to people. I'm going to lay hands on all of these people by myself. I think that should be enough. Those who are here. The power of God has touched you. I want you to check yourself very quickly and make your way to the front here. We want to give you an opportunity. Do not fail to testify. The medical, now hold on please. Let me give you an instruction. The medical stand is right there. If you need to confirm a miracle from the medics, whether you are outside any of the overflow, please take advantage of it. But I want you to check yourself. You see that a miracle has happened. 
um, there will be people standing by my left and right. Please very quickly, boldly, don't sit back when a miracle has happened. Let others be blessed from that which you have received. Make your way very boldly to the front and then um, come and share your testimony. But let me minister to these people by the Spirit of God. You can see that these are very demonic conditions by the power of the Holy Spirit. Very demonic situations. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, be set free now. In the name of Jesus, be set free now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. So I pray for you, check yourself. of the Holy Spirit. Just, just leave them. I'll lay my hands on them. I've been given instructions to pray for you. I decree and declare this. and thank the Lord for this miracle. Yes. In the month of June. Hold on, please. In the month of June. Yes. I was in Virginia. Hold on, please. Just a moment. In the month of June, sir, I was in Virginia. June 15 in the hospital. I had a dream that you visited me. I was, I was in a place like this where I ministered. And I said, Apostle Selma, Dan la kagama yesu ye bani sabon jiki ye bani sabon rei and he has answered you look at me in jesus name let's walk together one more time are you celebrating a miracle a real manifestation of the power of god come come madam give jesus praise in the name of jesus christ that we were like in a dormitory the second encounter and you came in the midst of the double beds yes. and you were telling me that just be encouraged whoever did this thing hold on i'm seeing a vision i don't know if someone came here with a walking aid a crutch whether inside or outside i want you to lift it and walk i don't know who that person is lift it and walk 
whether you are outside in the overflow I just saw this vision there is a grace for it lift it and walk wherever you are in the name of Jesus I declare perfection let's celebrate God for this woman's miracle have I prayed for her bring her bring her let's celebrate her miracle I'm not sure there will be room for her to testify since it's already done in the name of Jesus Christ be set free now by the power of the Holy Spirit my God look at that let's celebrate her now hallelujah if you've been touched by the power of God we need to do this very quickly um, even if it's just one or two very mighty things that God is doing in this place one or two people we need to take a few testimonies if there are testimonies whilst that is happening I want you to quickly submit your prayer requests your prayer requests and let's have that those who are coming to testify um, please I like you to make way for them very quickly you check yourself you've seen that a miracle has happened um, I see a group of people there if they are coming out please clear the way for them very quickly let's have a few of those 35 are you celebrating what Jesus is doing blessed be the name of the Lord blessed be the name of the Lord make sure you don't sit back if you have a testimony let's take a few of them very very quickly very quickly whilst we're doing that please submit your prayer request you are in this place and you're trusting God hold on please hallelujah is he able to walk now he's taking it gradually let, let me know let me know what is happening there hallelujah the power of God is going to come on a woman trusting God for the fruit of the womb just it's not something mechanical wherever you are I'm, it may not be every woman trusting God for the fruit of the womb but it's, it's a, the Lord is speaking to me when that anointing rests upon you just know that your season of waiting has come to an end hallelujah and so the Lord is asking me to pray before we take a few testimonies of the mighty hand of God will be very fast there is I believe that there are many people trusting God but there is a woman and as I'm speaking now in the name of Jesus you are married you've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb I'm not saying you are standing for someone Lord I am praying wherever this woman is that you have ministered to me like Elijah to the widow in Zarephath or the woman in Shunem I decree and declare right now as you have spoken let your anointing locate that woman whether in this auditorium whether at the overflows outside or connecting online I decree and declare let that anointing rest upon you now rest upon you now and I prophesy to you that according to the time of life you will return with your miracle child in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen let's celebrate Jesus in one moment for the mighty things that he has done Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Let's sir. have a few testimonies. So, Apostle, please. you gave a word of knowledge yes, sir. regarding someone with actually irritation on the tongue. Severely. Praise the Lord. So, when you were ministering, you say you don't know what it is, but there's someone feeling pain on his tongue. Yes. And for the past three days, I've been experiencing that pain. But after the word came forth, the pain is gone. In the Hallelujah. name of Jesus, it never returns. Let's celebrate what God is doing. God bless you, sir. Yes. Daddy, you made mention of someone that ate in the dream. I had a dream last year and I ate something like chicken. By the time I bite the chicken, I saw worms in it. I woke up from in that the dream. dream. Yes, I woke up in, from that dream and I felt a movement on my throat. So since then, I've had issues of uh, ulcer, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high insulin. And they said my liver was enlarged. So you mentioned my case this evening. I walked out here. You prayed for me. All the symptoms I was feeling, they are gone and Come on now. forever. Are you celebrating Jesus? Jesus? Let me use this opportunity and pray for you. 
in the name of Jesus, where it came from, may it return back there. I'm saying it to you again, where it came from, no matter the distance in the spirit, it returns back to hell where it came from. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, sir. Celebrate Jesus for his testimony. Praise the Lord. Uh, I went for my mom's burial two months ago. They asked me to help them carry her. You went for your mom's burial? Yes. Where? In Kogi State. Okay. After I helped them to draw, they said I should assist them. There are people carrying cups, but they insisted I should help them. Since after then I helped them, my neck, for two months, I couldn't sleep. If I turn neck, I couldn't turn it completely. But for now, I can't. Completely. That, that demonic arrow returns back to hell. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen and amen. Okay, Benga, go ahead. Apostle, she had an accident. She fell into a hole for about a month, so she had difficulty in walking. She fell and, into a hole. Yes, and they told her never to climb a stair. So while she was invited for the service, her friend now kept a seat for her up the back body. So by faith, she was there, and while the prayer was going on, the power of God fell on her, and then she can now walk, no pain in her leg. Look at this. Come, climb these stairs. Careful. Let's celebrate Jesus. Ah, it's enough. Oh. This lady has faith. May God bless you. Come on, celebrate her miracle. Gone forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. She had an accident last year and then she was operated upon by her right hand. So she couldn't lift the hand. But as prayer was going on, she... She couldn't lift the hand. hand. Yes, sir. Let the devil see it. Lift it now. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Any pain. In the name of Jesus, the Lord perfects your healing. It never returns to you again. In Jesus' name, let's celebrate our miracle. Yes, please, very quickly. Toothache and pain in her chest and neck, healed by the power of God. Toothache and pain. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare perfection for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Yes, please. Okay, you're still working on them? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Earlier this year, I can't really turn my neck. So if I'm writing, I can't like turn. So when you say that we should check ourselves, it started yesterday. So when you say that we should check ourselves, I can really turn my neck. I can bend. Turn it now. Left, right. Turn. I can bend. Any pain? No, sir. In the name of Jesus, the Lord brings you healing, perfection by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' right, name. So Apostle, she was actually healed of severe pain. She's been having this. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mine has to do with a severe stomach ache and severe cold. While you, the, the fathers, our daddy said we should lay on where he's painting us. I lay down before he could even pray. He started the prayers, the pain had gone. And when he lay down on me, the cold disappeared. Completely. Yes. In the name of Jesus, restoration of your and, health. And sir, she's checked with the medical team. She's checked with the medical team. In the name of Jesus Christ. Not yet. Okay, so after this, you can go and check to verify everything. Eh? May the Lord bless you. Your healing is perfected in Jesus' name. God bless you. Good evening. I had this abdominal pain for years. So while we were praying, um, I placed my hand on my abdomen, believing God for healing, and now the pain is gone. Completely. Yes, sir. Place your hand there. I decree and declare perfection for you. You'll never return back again in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Yes, please. Very interesting testimony here, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good evening, Apostle. So, when I came to church, I was having a pain on my right breast. Although it was in both, but it was severe here. Because I could even hug my friend because it was hurting. But I went to the medical stand now after you prayed for someone with a pain like on the chest. And then the doctor pressed and then the pain is gone. The doctor pressed and there was no pain. Yes. Completely. Yes, sir. Let's celebrate what Jesus is doing in the name of Jesus Christ. You will search for every challenge that brought you here and you will not find it again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you. Perfection for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Are you ready? Go ahead. Pain in our body for over a month healed by the power of God. Healed service. by the power of God. My dear, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke that spirit. I'm seeing something like a dark shadow on that lady. I declare you are released from it now. Never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Give Jesus praise. You can return to your seat. Next person, quickly. She has had pain in her two knees for over five months that she could not walk perfectly. Okay. Now she couldn't climb stairs. What couldn't you do? I couldn't climb the staircase 
up and down. I you have too. to hold the rail. But, but as you prayed, she now quickly went to climb the stair, ran up and down. Come and, and try this one, let's see. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we celebrate your miracle. It will never return to you again. Health and vitality is yours in Jesus' name. Yes. Apostle, you gave a word of knowledge of those who come with walking aid to lift his down. Yes. Our mommy came all the way from UK. And she came from UK. Yes. That's your walking aid. Lift it up. Walk. Lift it up. Lift it up. Look at this. All the way from UK, are you celebrating a miracle? My God. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Everything that is out of joint, everything that is out of structure, out of order in your life, as God has visited our mother, I'm praying for you. Yours may not be pertaining your body, maybe another area of your life what i decree and declare in the name of jesus receive the miracle of realignment i say to you if you believe receive the miracle of realignment mommy we pray for you i stretch my hands i declare perfection yes you brought all these prayer requests <laughs> for okay. my children it's okay let me touch it for you since you have come all the way Jesus, in the name of Jesus, careful. You return with a testimony, every single one of them, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, please. Let's see if we can Praise take um okay. Go ahead, go ahead, sir. Praise God. I was here for the first time last week, Sunday, and I was at the balcony. And before I left, I started feeling pain in my arms. I could not do anything with my arm. I couldn't raise it. I couldn't turn my hand anywhere. I even had to cry out to my sister who traveled. I don't know what is wrong. Nothing happened, but my arm is paining me. Why would I go to church for healing and I'm coming back with pain? That was crazy. What happened now? I, I just I discovered I can do all, like I can move it everywhere. So she's healed now. Sir. You are healed. Oh, really in the name of Jesus Christ, we receive your miracle and we declare in the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns to you again. Amen. Let's celebrate Jesus for her miracle. So, Apostle, she's been having excruciating chest pain. Excruciating chest pain. I, when I was at home, one afternoon, my brother told me that I ate in the dream. He saw me, he always see me eating. Your brother said you... Yes, he's okay. a member of this choir here. Okay. This is my first time of being here. He always tell me, I say, me, eat, how? I can never eat in the dream. In the day, I started three days fasting. As I started the three days, first time I started the fasting. As I, as I started the fasting, I saw myself eating, and we prayed. He prayed over. He said, "I should come today." As I came today, I came to the miracle, and, and I was now upside when you prayed that. If you're having chest pain, if you have eaten the dream before, and you have having any pain, it's gone immediately. The pain vanished. And Completely. Welcome to Koinonia, darling. This is Koinonia. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Good evening, everyone. Um, I had an injury during COVID. So the whole of COVID, I was not able to walk. COVID? Um, yeah, during COVID. That's 2020. Okay. So during that time, I could not walk. I did not play football. I had the injury while playing football. For some reason, I believe that uh, that was how God wanted it because that was when I got closer to God. But since that time, for like two years now, I've not played football. But right now, after we prayed, I just tried to run now and I was able to run perfectly. You're able to run? Yes, sir. Try it one more time. You're a footballer. Let's go. Ah, this man is a serious footballer. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is a way they run. May God lift you, eh? May God lift you and honor you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes, please. Apostle, she came here very sick. This is her husband. They had gone to the hospital to divide medical attention. And then she couldn't even stay close to the fan. She had gone to the covenant for like eight times in the course of the service. But as you pray, she fell under the anointing and all the pain is gone. Completely gone. 
You're welcome, husband and wife, in the name of Jesus Christ. This healing remains permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. Permanent in Jesus' name. Let's celebrate them. God bless you. This is from one of our workers. She has been having a pepperish pain in her back for about two, three months. Yes. But as you prayed, the pain is gone now. And she hold now. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's celebrate her miracle. She was healed of hepatitis B. The last time she checked, it was positive. But as you prayed, then she went to the medical stand and she tested negative. Come. Verified by the medical. Verified by our medical practitioner. Let's give Jesus praise. That's a real miracle there. Never returns to you again, darling, in Jesus' name. Yes, please. Okay, I've been, for the past two weeks now, we received a revelation in my family that our, my enemy is going to die. They saw me dead. So we've been praying and I've been, after that revelation, I, I, I became sick. Pains all over my body leg pains. In fact, it has been persisting and I've taken all the medication and still nothing. So even when I came to service today, I went to the medical center to tell them that in fact, my head, I'm having headache. What happened now? At the end of when I went back, they sent me back. Now I can, my legs everywhere. I'm, I'm fine. You I'm won't fine. die in Jesus name. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we declare that you leave to declare the works of the Lord. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Another case of hepatitis B healed since 2019. Now she has gone to the medical staff and she's been praise. confirmed negative. Hepatitis B gone. gone. Are you celebrating Jesus for this? It will never return to you again. Never return to you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Yes, Pastor Jakes, go ahead. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for healing me of um, a chronic breath, breathless chronic pain. When I was coming this evening, it looked as if I wasn't able to even move my legs at all. One of the protocol can testify to the when I was coming, one of the ushers said I should go outside to sit down. And I told him that no, I can't stay outside because of my health condition. So he has to call a protocol. They directed me to sit at the gallery downstairs. So as we are ministering, it looks as if at an injection, someone took me at the injection where we are declaring. Then I started throwing up, throwing up, throwing up. I even got a lilo, pouring all those spittles in them. Then immediately I started breathing very well. I, I cannot even move my leg, I can jump. And another time you mentioned someone that is emaciating, something happened in the dream, and somebody started emaciating. Like when I... When I was in secondary school, they used to call me Oroba. I was very fat. I grew up in Lagos, so they call Oroba fat people. So now, because what? What now? God has visited you miraculously. So, sir, just to quickly add, yes, the beautiful jacket she's wearing on is not just fashion. She actually suffers from severe cold. So she's gone to the medical stand. They've actually checked her. Mm -hmm. Although the symptoms have actually disappeared, they've encouraged her to actually go for a test. But as she stands now. The symptoms have actually disappeared. You are able to breathe. Yes, I'm even sweaty. I, want, I always wear a jacket because of cold. In the name of Jesus, you will go to the hospital and they will not find anything there Amen. again. We agree. We release our faith with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Can we have one or two so that would... Um, remember, I'm still supposed to speak over your finances. Are you still interested? <laughs> Hallelujah. Sir. Praise God. Okay. Yes. Yeah, 2020, when she was about put him to bed when she was about giving birth the doctor confirmed that it's a challenge that could come for people in pregnancy she had difficulty in twisting her hand and since then she has not been able to do that but as you were praying the power of god taught her and she could lift her hand and twist she couldn't hand. twist the hand yes how long oh, this four years sir four years if i raise my hand i'll be heavy my hand be screwed since you gave birth yes okay try it now I I give birth. do what you couldn't do do what you couldn't do. Any pain. Go ahead. Do what I'm doing. Any pain at all. Let's celebrate Jesus. Let's celebrate Jesus for that supernatural miracle. It will never return to you again. Health, perfection, vitality is yours in Jesus' name. Is that the last one? Let's take that yes, as the last one so that you can. had difficulty in seeing properly, but as you were praying, in seeing properly. So as you prayed, he went to the medical stand. And the doctors did med uh, basic medical eye test 
and his father, he could what see couldn't and he could you see? How was the condition before like, now? I used to have inches with my eye. Okay. It's a very difficult need to see clearly from the board, yes. even when I'm writing. So and now, now the itches is gone. No more inches in my In the eye. name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Amen. It will never return to you. You are healed. You are perfected forever. In Jesus' name. Our online family, we're sorry we may not be able to take your testimony now, but do feel free to send it. Um, we have to get to the next part of the program in the name of Jesus Christ. Rise up and receive a prophetic word. And we will say that you are good and all the miracles you've done has brought us joy. And we are changed and all the hope we have we place in you right now. One more time with faith in your heart. Father, we declare that we love you. We declare our everlasting love. Hallelujah. Can you stretch your hands by faith to this prayer request? When we do this, what supports what we're doing is the understanding that this is an act of faith this is a representation of your desires and whilst you are releasing your faith i'm releasing my faith with you so go ahead and pray ask the lord to turn every request here to a testimony in the name of jesus christ i'll go down my knees right now and speak over your requests Shalabranda barako shopratis ke British kiete. Krata barada baka pranti shalabrati ke debela debosh. Lord, visit your people. Turn their mourning to dancing. Turn their sorrow to joy. Give them testimonies in the name of Jesus. Are you declaring by faith? Are you declaring by faith? The Lord, in the name of Jesus, I lay down my request. I will pick up my answers. I lay down my request. I will pick up my breakthrough. I lay down my request. I lay down delay to pick up speed. Someone is praying. I lay down shame to pick up honor. I lay down stagnation to pick up advancement. I lay down retrogression to pick up greatness. In the name of Jesus Christ. I lay down poverty and I pick up abundance. Let your fire rest upon this. Let it be turned to a harvest of answers. I lay down barrenness and I pick up supernatural children. I lay down joblessness and I pick up a flourishing job. I lay down spiritual lukewarmness and I pick up fire for my spirit man. I lay down ignorance and I pick up abundance of knowledge and understanding. I lay down sickness and ill health. I pick up health, strength, vitality. In Jesus name we pray. In Jesus name we pray. Father, I present to you the request of your people, an expression of their faith and their trust in you. They have brought this prayer request in faith, believing that you are the God that does wonders even in the midst of your people. I pray, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, that every request here penned down by faith, let it return to your people as a harvest of answers. Shout amen like you believe. Let it return to you as a harvest of answers. In the name of Jesus. May God intervene supernaturally. May God intervene using the ministry of men. May God intervene by connecting you to help us of destiny. I pray for you that in the name of Jesus Christ, the same way you took time.
to write the request that is the same time you would you the, the same way you would take the time to acknowledge the doings of God one by one where you drop shame pick up honor where you drop retrogression pick up advancement where you drop sickness pick up health and vitality where you drop suffering and stagnation pick up ease and abundance in the name of Jesus Christ where you drop barrenness pick up a harvest of children where you drop lukewarmness pick up fire and vibrancy in the spirit I decree and declare by faith that these Egyptians you see today in the name of Jesus the son of the living God may you see them no more forever in the matchless name of Jesus Christ amen and amen hallelujah please stand I want to speak over your finances hallelujah my greatest joy as a man of God is to see everyone excel in every area of your life first your spiritual life loving Jesus being on fire a vibrant prayer life a vibrant word study life are we together becoming men and women of character after the image of the Christ my prayer and my desire again is to see a people transformed fortified by knowledge and understanding are we together now my prayer thirdly is to see a people empowered by the Holy Ghost accomplishing strides and possibilities that can only be by the agency of the Spirit my prayer and my desire for you is to see a people who are purpose driven people who are not just driven by needs but driven by vision that every time you cry for a need it is because it is a requirement for your divine vision but my prayer in addition to all others is to see a people empowered and join the covenant of peace nothing missing nothing broken I hope that I'll be able to talk about finances one more time before the year is done because um, truly from an economic standpoint many people have been challenged and any responsible person who loves God and loves his people should at least leave a note of understanding I reckon with the fact that many people are bankrupt of financial resources either because of laziness or because they do not understand the laws that make for wealth and abundance others do not understand the law of value they are not productive they are not and where they are productive they do not know how to sell their value intelligently but I also know that there are others who have done all they know to do as part the laws of wealth and abundance and their finances have just been hijacked by all kinds of demonical forces or the biases and sentiments of men that plague our world that stops our lives from being ideal that sometimes you can do what is required but an individual can stand as a blockade to your efficiency so that the result that should be from your diligence is sabotaged by the wickedness and the antagonism of someone else at such times you need beyond skill you need the power of God you need the wisdom of God let me tell you the truth prophecy plays a role in genuine lasting wealth and abundance make no mistakes about it when people act like they didn't route their wealth through the spirit it's not true there is an equation of their success that you are not aware of you are only aware of the transactional dimension of their sustainable wealth I can tell you by the message of God that there is a component to wealth and abundance that is hinged on the prophetic the root of anything that has longevity is the realm of the spirit either a demonic dimension of the spirit realm or the realm of the spirit are sponsored by the Holy Ghost so in addition to value productivity relationships increase investment business and all that you have known and learned either formally or formally let me introduce you tonight to a dimension a superior mysterious but potent dimension that wealth can happen by prophecy are we together now you can reroute favor from wherever it is and draw it into the space of a man to enhance his becoming prophecy does not take away the need for productivity in fact it is enhanced the more you are productive the more you are you are you are excellent selling value I want to pray for you and I want you to be very serious as you receive especially if you know that things are not all right financially don't waste this moment hallelujah don't waste this moment 
make up your mind that you are going to receive and even where God has helped you financially you can still go further and higher so that it gives you room to serve God more I look forward to people here who will come to Koinonia and say give me the yearly budget financial budget of Koinonia and as a single person you will write it I know that you have the heart already when God places the resources in your hands I know you will do it for now God is taking us gradually we are not ashamed of growth for many of us it took time and it took diligence and the mercy of God and prophecy like you are receiving now no matter how anointed you are it will take time but I'm praying for you particularly for those of you who are in serious financial issues now housing issues rent issues food is even the worst I believe that nobody under the sound of my voice especially a believer should go to bed hungry it shouldn't be it should be an economic policy and I know that the government is doing the best that they can and know to do but we owe a responsibility are we together to be able to use the prophetic and help enhance the quality of living of a people I will feel very guilty as a man of God that I come to you here for hours minister to you and that you have people who go back home void of favor and that you and your children will sleep hungry while I'm enjoying a nice meal in my house. It is not the character of a true shepherd. If I'm eating in my house knowing that there is bread in your house, we both are happy and God is glorified. In the name of Jesus, the cause of emptiness in your life, financial emptiness in your life, I pray for you by the God of grace and God of mercy this night, by a prophetic word I declare, enjoy supplies from today. Enjoy supplies from today. Enjoy supplies from today. Enjoy financial supplies from today. May God raise strangers, men you do not know, and cause them to be interested in your rising. May God raise captains of industry and direct their interest to you and your family. In the name of Jesus, I forbid you from begging. I forbid you from begging. By the wisdom of the Spirit, I forbid you from begging. By the favor of God, I forbid you from begging. By the gift of man, in the name of Jesus, the Bible says that God is able to give us treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places where the eyes of men cannot see. May God show you gold in the midst of debris. May God show you gold in the midst of chaos. You will see things others don't see. You will capitalize on opportunities for your profiting. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, whoever is looking for a man to help, may they find you whoever is looking for a man to lift may they find you in the name of jesus for those of you who are owing you are owing corporate debt personal debt ministry debt i decree and declare by the gift of men the ministry of helpers come out of that financial calamity now come out of that financial calamity now I bless the works of your hands. Go and prosper in business. Go and prosper in your career. Go and prosper in your investments. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare every careless decision depleting your finances, careless financial decisions, I decree and declare may the wisdom of God bail you out of such kind of lifestyle in the name of Jesus since you believe in financial testimonies I release it to your life this week I release it to your life this week I release it to your life in addition to your spiritual growth in addition to your prayer life in addition to your word study in addition to your loving Jesus in addition to your serving Jesus I declare go and prosper Go and prosper with dignity and with honor in the name of Jesus. For some of you, you have been helped by God, but the dimension you will experience this week, let it be such that you have never seen before. 
Let it be such that you have never seen before. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare, let something rest on your head from tonight. Hear me. Hear me. Favor is likened to light that shines upon the face of a man. A glow that attracts help. I'm praying for you. Whatever has covered you so that those to help you cannot identify that you are the one they were sent to. I declare that veil is torn from off your face. That veil is torn from off your destiny. Torn from off your face. In the name of Jesus. Finally, I pray for you. In the name that is above all names. Hear me. Every assignment you have now before you that depends on finances, wherever God has ordained for that money to come from, I don't care if it's in millions or billions, provided it is for your destiny and will ultimately lead to the glorification of the Christ. I stand by prophecy. I gravitate those resources to your life. I gravitate those resources to your life. I hope you believe it. I gravitate those resources to your life. For some of you, while you are here in Nigeria, foreigners, God will connect you to men across the nations. They will desire to help you of their own accord. They will hold your hands and see to it that you are empowered also. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for you. The distraction that comes with prosperity I decree and declare it is exempted from your life. The spiritual lukewarmness that befalls men in the presence of plenty, may it be far from your life. You will prosper still having your zeal for Jesus. You will prosper still having your passion for Jesus. You will prosper still prioritizing the kingdom. You will prosper and your resources will be beneficial for the kingdom. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Now wave your hands to Jesus as a sign of faith. Thanking him for all that has happened tonight. Wave your hands for the miracles, for the prophetic words that have come upon your life, the honor, the favor, the open doors, the deliverance. Wave your hands in anticipation for the many testimonies that will follow you all through this week. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for your patience. Allow me the opportunity to make an altar call for the sake of someone who needs to make it right with Jesus before leaving this place. You came to church from the opening prayer, the announcements, praise and worship, the word session, the miracles. You watched everything that would convince you that Jesus is alive. I do not want you to just see and watch and be excited and clap and cry and be emotional and go back home. Let me give you an opportunity to make Jesus Lord of your life. I'm doing two calls in one. Number one, for those who are saying, Apostle, if it's for my sake, please take a minute and give me an opportunity to make it right with Jesus. Number two, those who are saying, I want to rededicate my life with Jesus. Upon seeing all that I've seen today, I truly need Jesus. Wherever you are, God bless you, my dear brother is coming. I'm going to count one to five with boldness and confidence. Leave your seat and come to the front wherever you are, across the balcony, up, down, outside, let's celebrate them as they come. You are coming to Jesus, the lover of your soul, your savior, your Lord, your king. Are there still people coming? As the Holy Spirit prompts you, do not sit back. It's a new day for you. It's an opportunity to make it right with Jesus. They are still coming. Let's, let's encourage them as they come. I see people coming from outside. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Keep clapping Koinonia until they are here. For those of you who are making this decision online, distance is no barrier. As I lead these ones to make this prayer of salvation, I'd like you to join them wherever you're connected from and believe in your heart that as you make this prayer, Jesus becomes Lord of your life and experience. Thank you. You're joining them. Please make that quickly and let's do the salvation prayer together. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much, brothers and sisters. It's always an honor for me personally, as I lead people to Jesus, this is what he desires, that all men be saved and that they come onto the knowledge of the truth. So you're joining us from here, joining us online. I want to salute you for the courage 
to declare his lordship over your life let me request that you lift your right hand and say this loud and clear say lord jesus tonight i've heard your word i have seen your power i love you with all my heart i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for my sin i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive jesus into my heart as my savior my lord and my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight i'm a child of god i go forward ever and backward never amen keep your hands as i pray for you father in the name of jesus i call these ones bona fide recipients of the life of god they have declared your lordship over their lives consciously and in the name of jesus christ i declare that the grace to live and walk in victory let it be theirs from tonight in the name of jesus the grace to live the victorious christian life to grow in grace to grow in knowledge i pray that the lord will impart it upon you right now i decree and declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave indeed is broken over your life you are a new creation in christ jesus you go from glory to glory grace to grace in jesus name we pray amen and amen please look to my right that should be your left there are counselors waving the placard that will have a word with you and to pray with you and then you will quickly return to your seat let's honor them as they go thank you thank you so much thank you god bless you are you are you still clapping for them koinonia let's honor them hallelujah praise the name of the lord hallelujah praise the name of the lord so next week um, we'll take a fast on Sunday morning. Just, just um, we'll take a fast up until, um, let's say four, so that you are able to break and prepare your heart for what God is going to be ushering us into. So please take out time. When we ask that we fast like this, um, hopefully we are going to structure a lot of other fasting programs that will be extended enough to give us room to really maximize the blessedness. Of fasting and prayer you can't really fast one day and do much sometimes you need to have extended periods where your spirit man is built and um, we have programs for that for now we're trying to squeeze out on every opportunity that we have to maximize that so on Sunday um, by Saturday Saturday night the media would put up the prayer focus if you just abstain from food and you don't pray and study strategically you didn't maximize your fasting so fasting is beyond just abstaining from food if you're on a health program that's fine but if you are really fasting for spiritual benefits uh, what gives credence to your fasting is not just abstaining from food but the time that is invested in knowledge invested in flogging it out with god and destiny the time invested in prayer and all the other spiritual activities that's what gives life to your fasting so on saturday night hopefully by 6 p.m the media would put the prayer focus so that we can take the time and then we'll pray and for those of us who um, are praying and craving for extra time to just pray unfortunately because we meet only once a week we don't have that kind of time to stretch as your spirit man and your growth should desire um, let me invite you to the prayer department's prayer meeting Tuesdays from 4 p.m. at our other venue at DOA you don't have to be a member of the prayer department you can just walk in tell them i came to pray and then you'll be guided and just just press it upon your spirit man particularly for those who just got saved it's important that when people get saved they're introduced to the ministry of prayer so that it primes your growth it sets the pace for effective growth in the spirit hallelujah let me encourage you as you leave make sure you invest time in prayer you invest time in the structured study of the word you invest time listening. Go back again and listen at least to the word session of this meeting tonight. And there are more than enough teachings for you to get online. Go to Koinonia Global. You can meet our media team if you want any advice on how to maximize your learning process using the word. They are up the balcony. You can see any of them after service. And they'll be glad to give you recommendations. You can meet any of the ministers around. They can be glad to help you 
further structure a profitable Christian life. I desire that we become people who are matured, dexterous, furnished in righteousness. And the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Have you been blessed tonight? Please rise up on your feet. Thank you for your patience. I declare that your weak beginning is blessed in Jesus' name. The hand of the Lord is strong upon you. You will see the evidence of this miracle service all through the week. In the name of Jesus Christ. It will be back-to-back -back testimonies from tonight up until Sunday and up until the month November in the name of Jesus. I call your November a blessed month. I call it a month of favor. I call it a month of testimonies. I call it a month of breakthrough. I call it a month of lifting. You will see the hand of God strong upon your life. You will make constructive destiny along the path of, I mean, a, a constructive progress along the path of destiny in Jesus' name. I bless you with honor. I bless you with favor. Goodness and mercies follow you. In the name of Jesus Christ, fresh fire upon your prayer life, fresh fire upon your word study life. You are separated from evil. Naysayers are far from your life. Evil doers are far from your life. All who will make for your favor, may they appear this week. All who will make for your spiritual efficiency, may they appear this week. Wisdom is yours this week. You will make quality decisions that enhance your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Together, let's share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now and forever. Amen. Surely. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.